Hello lovely people and welcome back to That Engineering Girl. Today we're going to be talking about my first internship presentation that actually happened yesterday and I want to go over six things that I liked that I did and six things that I did not like that I did. Now the purpose of this is to be conscious of how we're doing things and recognize what we're doing in order for us to retain what we like and change what we don't because I'm all about great presentations, great leadership, and constant growth and constant improvement. So uh, let's get into this. But actually, before we do that, let me give a brief introduction for those of you who are watching me for the first time. My name is Ruha. I'm a fourth year electrical engineering student since I just finished my third year. So electrical slash software engineering student. I'm currently doing my 16th month internship as an embedded software developer. And I'm here to share my journey in engineering my life, both figuratively and literally. So with that, let's get into the video. Okay, so I have my laptop here with me and let's start with positives because that's always good. So let me first tackle the six things that I liked that I did. Now, the first thing that I absolutely loved that I did, and this is my biggest, biggest, biggest win for this presentation. It's the first time that I've done this is that I spoke slowly. Now I am notoriously known for speaking at an, at an incredible speed, such as sometimes people ask me what I even said. Like they literally do not understand what I even said because I was speaking so fast. And this is something that I'm constantly, constantly trying to change because I want to speak slowly for a number of reasons. I actually spoke slowly for this entire presentation, which was approximately 45 minutes. Now that is a huge, 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 huge win for me. I was absolutely ecstatic when I came out of this presentation because I literally could not even believe it that I actually spoke slowly. So this is something that was my biggest win from the presentation. Now, the second thing that I did that I really, really like is that I set a clear tone for the presentation and clearly defined the structure of the presentation. Right from the get go, I, you know, I simply said, okay, let's just two things before we get started. One, thank you. Two, this is how I wanna conduct the meeting. So I literally structured the meeting for my audience and that way we avoided any awkward pauses, any awkward, okay, what do I say next? And all that stuff that happens generally in meetings as to, you know, okay, well, what are we doing now? What should I say now? So I clearly defined the structure, set a really good tone, and the entire presentation flowed really, really smoothly because of that. So I'm really, really, really happy that I did that. Now, the third thing that I did, now this is more subtle and this is something that takes time to become practiced in and conscious of is that i was symmetric for most of the presentation now what do i mean by that that means i wasn't leaning on my elbow i wasn't kind of leaning like this i was very symmetric um, in terms of my body positioning now there are reasons for doing that it's all about what you want to convey through your body to your audience and this allows me to convey what I want to convey to my audience, which is composure, confidence, um, calmness, openness almost, um, not arrogance, which is sometimes how this can be seen as like, like kind of arrogant. So this gives you a very neutral position that also conveys confidence. Now, that is another thing that I did that I really, really like. Now, the fourth thing that I did that's also related to body language because I've been really into body language these days and becoming very conscious of the nonverbal cues that I'm sending people. So the fourth thing that I did that I really, really liked is I kept really good posture. So my back was straight the entire time, actually. I've gotten really, really good at maintaining good posture. So that means keeping a straight back, not only very rigid, like, like I'm moving, but straight, you know, I'm confident alert and so being able to maintain good pressure while i was being 
essentially reviewed. My project was being reviewed and I was being asked questions and concerns were being thrown at me. So being able to do that during that presentation really conveyed the confidence that I wanted to send out in the room. So I was really happy that I did that too. Now the fifth thing that I did that I really, really liked, and you might have guessed it, it's also related to body language. Now this one is that I get my shoulders back. Now once again, you don't want to be super rigid, you don't want to be like, like this or anything, but you want to have your shoulders back, not like this, not like this, not up here, like rolled back, but also relax, like don't hold them like super rigidly, but have them back, have them you know, confidently push back, hold your chest up. And this once again, conveys confidence, self-assuredness, that you know what you're talking about and you're here and you're present. So being able to keep my shoulders down the entire presentation was honestly great. Like I loved that I did this and this is something that I've gradually worked towards. This did not happen overnight. I've been working on my posture and body language cues for about a year now. So. Don't think that I just got up and start, started doing this because it's it's harder than that. But I was just so happy to see that this just naturally came to me and I didn't actually actively have to like hold myself back. This is how I just sat and kept my shoulders down the entire time. So that was great. Now the sixth thing that I did that I absolutely loved, and this is not something that I necessarily struggle with, but it's something that I like to recognize because it's equally as important. And that is waiting for people to stop talking before responding to them, even when you have an answer that either, you know, mitigates their concern or answers their question. Like you, you know what they're going to say and you already have a response for it. Still hold back, let them finish and then give your response. It shows respect. It shows control, composure. It shows so many things and most of all it shows humbleness and kindness which is something that I'm also interested in conveying and giving to other people. So being able to do this I always like to recognize it and pat myself on the back for it. Alright now let's get into the six things that I did that I did not like. The first thing that I did not like and well, let's follow the trend here it's related to body language. I leaned forward a lot. Now I did have a table here, like I was sitting at a table and I had to write notes physically by hand. So a little bit of leading is fine, but I was, even when I was listening to my reviewers and getting their feedback, I would lean forward a lot in my chair with my elbows rested on the arm, armrest? Yes, on the armrest. I would lean forward a lot. Now leaning forward is good. You do not want to lean back. But I was leaning forward a lot, which I did not like. I didn't like what I was can conveying non-verbally. A little bit is a good, but not as much as I was doing. So that is one thing that I did not like that I did. Now two, this was my first internship presentation. I was super nervous, didn't really know exactly what to expect. So my voice did waver a couple of times. It got hoarse a couple of times. And I recognize that I did really well in other aspects. And so it's okay. It's okay. That's where I'm right now. I can be better. But this is the second thing that I did not like. Now, the third thing. Now, once again, this is a bit subtle. You need to be very conscious for this. But when I came out of the meeting, I realized that I was really hot basically the entire meeting. And I felt my face burning up like it was really, really hot. Now, what this tells me is that I wasn't calm during the presentation, which means I wasn't emotionally regulating, which means I was anxious and I was nervous, which is true. I, I knew this. Now, this is a thing that I'm really working towards emotional regulation and remaining calm under pressure, like not allowing myself to feel that pressure and allowing it to create anxiety and nervousness. I want to maintain calmness all the time in order to have control over myself so I can decide exactly what I want to do and not let things decide what I do. So this is another thing that I did that I didn't love, but we're getting there, you know, we're getting there. All right, the fourth thing is I tripped over a couple of words. I was speaking sometimes very, very few times, 
sometimes too fast so i tripped over a couple of words i recovered instantly instantly so for that i'm really proud but i did trip over a couple of words which i also did not love now the fifth thing once again a bit subtle but i was sitting in a chair with armrests and it was very easy to lean on an armrest like this like lean to the side have my body tilted a little bit and have my arm you know on the armrest and this arm up here writing notes i did not like the way this looked i don't like how there's no symmetry i don't like how i'm leaning i i don't like it at all now i caught myself doing this a few times actually and i and i instantly corrected myself but i would go back to doing it and i just i did not like that i did this i recognize it and we're gonna work towards it now the last thing that i did is something that i struggled with a few times and i'm trying to figure out how to fix it and i still haven't put my finger on it and that is losing control of the direction of the meeting now what i mean by this is when two or three people or whatever in your meeting start chatting about something that is off topic and it's it's completely fine if it's at the end of the meeting which it was in this case but still it's off topic and control is literally taken like ripped out of your hands like you no longer have control over the meeting anymore now it's in, in the hands of the people that are speaking and conversing on something that is completely off topic for the presentation or meaning. Now, then you then you just wait, then you wait until they're done. So control is literally given back to you and then you continue on and end the meeting. Now, this is something that I did. Two people started socializing, talking about something at the end of the presentation before I had officially ended it and ended the call and everything. And I had to wait until control was given back to me and they were done with our conversation in order for me to finish the meeting. Now, this is perfectly fine. This is normal socializing and all of that jazz, but I want to be able to have control over the meeting and take that control back when it's taken from me indirectly, right? So this is something that I'm working towards on how do I redirect the conversation when it gets off topic? How do I jump in and get those people back on track? something that I need to figure out, but you know what? Recognizing is the first step. All right, so those are six things that I did in my first internship presentation that I loved and six things that I did that I didn't love so much and I'm working towards fixing and improving. With that, thank you so much for watching and until next time.